Good day. This is to give a guide on how to answer continuous assessment on the learning management system. The first and foremost, you come to our website, which is cdlce.uniabuja.edu.ng. As you can see on the screen, cdlce.uniabuja.edu.ng. Once you are on the website here, as you can see on the cursor, click on the learning management system. It takes you straight to our LMS where you you will be able to log in using your username and password. This must have been communicated to us before now. Yours is different from every other person's phone. But in a situation where you have challenge with yours, I will, I will advise you get in touch with the administrator of the school so that you can have yours. So I'm going to use one as an example. So actually, you're supposed to have your username as your matric number and your password best known to you. But I think by default, we have uni Abuja in small letter, one word as the password, default password, which is expected to be changed after your first login. So in a situation where you are a new student for 2019-2020 sets, your username ought to be the last five digits of your application number. The last five digits of your application number. That should be your username and your password should be Uni Abuja, small letter. Having typed that, it should get you in, but I'm going to use a sample student account to log in. So after you have typed the username, you have typed the password, you click on login. That gets you into the learning management system if you have correctly entered it. And one thing that I also want us to note is that having access to the learning management system that is logging in is not the, the last assignment that you need to do. You are expected to enroll in the courses you are taking. That means that you will need the list of all the courses expected of you to take per semester. So after you have gotten that listed or jotted down in one sheet of paper, then you log in, you come to site home here, click on site home. Let's assume that I want to enroll myself in a course with the course code SOC101, SOC101. You will type it. After you have come to search home, scroll down and come to search courses. Then under search courses in the column, type your course code. Yours definitely is different from, might be different from SOC 101. Just type yours in case it is POP 401 or whatever. Type it. After typing it, you click on go. It will fetch the database to bring out the course that matches exactly what you have typed. So I type SOC 101, so it has brought out the course for me. You click on the title, that is Introduction to Sociology. Click on the title of the course. That gives you Enroll Me option. Then come down, you will see Enroll Me. You wouldn't need to do this every now, every time. Once you have your course enrolled, subsequent logging in, you will have the course permanently there until you unenroll. Unenroll in the sense that in the situation where you mistakenly enroll in a course that is not your own, you can unenroll. So let's assume that I made a mistake logging in. I mean, uh, I made a mistake enrolling myself for SOC 101. I was actually planning to enroll myself for GST 101 and I have mistakenly enrolled myself. All you need to do is come to the left hand side. You will see this symbol. Click on it. You will see unenroll me. That gets you out of the course. And I want I need to let you know also that until you are enrolled in SOC 101 or whichever course you are taking, you will not be able to have access to any lecture video whatsoever that are placed under the course, which implies that if you have logged in with your username and your password and you fail to enroll in, in your course, you are most likely, in fact, you will not get any access. You won't have any access whatsoever 
to the lecture videos, to the lecture materials that are under the course, because we have had cases of people saying that there are no course materials on certain courses, whereas they are the ones that haven't actually registered in those courses. So let's assume that uh, I rightly made the, I made, the, I made the right choice enrolling myself for SOC 101. And under SOC 101, I have an assignment, or for SOC 107, I was told there is an assignment. Now, what I need to do is, after I've logged in, I will need to, by the left hand side, you will see the list of courses that I've enrolled myself in. You can see, abnormally, I've registered all 100 level economies, all 200 level economies courses. Definitely, you know, this is not right, but I'm just making this for, for just as a guide. Now, let's assume that you were given an, an announcement that there is an assignment on the learning management system or there is a continuous assessment on SOC 107. After you have logged in, you will see the course by the left hand side. So far, you have enrolled in the course. Now, this is SOC 107. I was told that there is an assignment there. I will come here, log in, then I will do a click on SOC 107. That gives me access to the course and the lecture materials, whatsoever that might be there. Now, this is the assignment. You can see first semester computer based test. And the, the instruction is that this CBT, that is this computer based test, has a time frame of 15 minutes to answer 30 randomly selected questions. Once started, the countdown begins at the top. Now, all I need to do is do a click. First semester, I will click on the first semester, the title. I will click on it. After clicking on it, you will see first semester, the instruction, whatsoever. Then you will see the instruction that attempt allowed only once, which implies that you really must be ready to answer the question. If you are not settled, I would advise you don't attempt it because you can only make the attempt once. In a situation where you have 15 questions and you answered five and you went off, it is 15 minutes given to this assignment, for, for example. If that 15 minutes elapsed, the assignment closes and all you have not answered will be marked wrong automatically, which means that you really must be ready. Now, I'm ready to do the assignment. You click on Attempt Quiz now. You click on it. Then it brings out second instruction to you. This quiz has a time limit of 15 minutes. This will count down from the moment you start your attempt and you must submit before it expires. Are you sure that you wish to start now? So that's what I was emphasizing the other time. So if you are very sure, you click on start attempt. Then that displays the questions. On the screen, you only see one question per page. But by the right answer, you will see the total number of questions you have to answer. You can see your name will be A, your picture will be A. Now you see that I'm, I'm supposed to answer 30 questions. And you could see the timing counting down already. The time is counting down already. From 15 minutes, you can see I have 14, 29, 28, 27, 26. That's how it will be counting until it gets to the last second. Now I'm supposed to get on to, with the question. Let's assume that I answer the first one correct or wrong or, or not. I go, I click on next page. If you are using a mobile device, the same the same process you, you need to follow. Then you come to the next page until you finish up all the questions. Until you finish up all the questions. Four I've attend four questions. You can see question five. By the left hand side, by the right hand side, you will, you will see that as I make attempt answering them, you will see the numbers of answered being, being colored. Number five is colored, so this is number six. Let's assume that I answer the question to be C. You will see number six colored as well until I finish up all the 30 questions. So once you are done with the 30 questions, you click on finish attempt. You click on finish attempt. But please, let's bear this at the back of our mind. In a situation where you fail to finish the 30 questions before this time, this time out is gone, it will automatically submit itself, which, which means that 
you wouldn't need to click on finish attempt. The timing will automatically time you out. But in a situation where in a good time you're able to finish, you will need to click on finish attempt. Let me repeat. In a situation where all the 30 questions, you're able to answer them within the time frame, that is within the time given for the assignment, you will have the privilege of personally ending the assignment, as in finishing the, the assignment, by coming here and clicking on finish assignment. But in a situation where you couldn't manage the time, you were given 15, 20, 30 minutes, but you used you wanted to use more than that. But because the time has been structured automatically on the learning management system, once the scheduled time is elapsed, the system automatically logs you out. And the answers you have supplied will be marked automatically. So let's assume that I've answered all the questions. So I will come to finish attempts. I've clicked on finish attempt. It shows you the preview of what you have answered. You know that I only answered seven out of eight, but I, I believe this is abnormal. You will want to answer all. So you see question one, answer saved. Question two, answer saved. Question eight, not yet answered. Question nine, not yet answered. So I don't believe yours should be like that, but for the sake of this guide, I'm just, I'm going to answer just eight. After you are done with everything, you come down and click on submit and finish. If by any mistake you click on that button and you remember that question nine, I think I want to have a rethink on it, you can go back and reattempt it. That is if you still have sufficient time. Click on return to attempt to answer the question or to review the question again. But in a situation where you have made up your mind, you have answered the question and you are very much ready for the submission. Come here and click on submit all and finish. Once you click on it, there will be a warning that once you submit, you will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt. That is just to make sure that you are not making a mistake by clicking on that button. So if you are very sure you are ready, you make the final submission. You will see submit and finish and finish. Once you do that, the assignment is submitted and immediately you see your grade you can see summary of your response of your previous attempts you see your final grade for this quiz is 1.33 over 10 1.33 over 10 so the the lecturer knows how to go about it how, how he says his question but this is just to let you know that of all 30 questions this is your score with this, you'll be able to attempt your question and answer them correctly. Thank you.